In today's video, I'm going to talk about a new report we've added. It's a coin checklist type report. And so as an example, I've added, uh, let's see, six uh, Liberty Head nickels. Normally, if I run a coin checklist report, let's say I'm going to expand, I'm going to go to coin manage coin database. Oh, by the way, this feature was added, uh, this new report in, was added um, September 2nd, I believe, 2023. So if you haven't updated recently, I would go ahead and select help check for updates if you're on version 2023 of CoinManage and you'll get the latest update with a new report. Uh, so anyway, I'm in CoinManage database. I'm going to expand the 2023 value table. And I'm in the CoinManage Deluxe, so you're going to see a lot of countries. If you have CoinManage USA, you won't see all these countries, obviously. So I'm going to expand the United States, five cents and Liberty. So I've got those six Liberty nickels in inventory. If I was to right mouse click and run one of the basically the old report the checklist as you see on the screen here it's going to show a report with the coins they've already inventoried already checked with the quantity of each coin in the quantity uh, owned uh, field on the right now we've got this new report checklist empty and all it does is just puts out a report and doesn't take into consideration if you own the coin so let me select checklist empty and let me just go ahead and select the Adobe PDF format and when you select Adobe, Adobe PDF format, it asks you the name and file name. Um, and I'm gonna click save, replace it, yes. And so my other screen, I'll drag it over. I have a new checklist report. And you can see here that even though I own these coins, the checklist, the checkbox is set to empty. So it's basically a blank checkbox for this uh, particular type. So anyway, uh, that's all I have for today. Uh, Thank you very much for watching. Take care.